so in today's video, it's actually going to be a little bit of a longer one. Um, so this week, I concentrated on running the RevoSec Beginner Fundamentals playlist in AimLab. And I absolutely love that playlist. It was so much fun. They had a lot that I was using in Kovacs, Voltaic Beginner, like their bronze and iron bench uh, fundamentals and stuff. And I believe that I grew a whole lot in that. So pretty much ran it for about an hour a day. Um, and then after that, went into Apex playing. I mean, it's on my live stream, so you can go check out my live streams, live streams and see how I did it. But pretty much ran it for an hour, um, and it, it felt really solid. Um, so, and then also this week, I put a very high concentration on speed. Um, I think I was getting a little too comfortable with working on smoothness and accuracy and which I'm pushing myself for speed. I believe smoothness and, a smoothness and accuracy is important, but I also think that pushing yourself to building up speed with that is good as well. So that was the main focus was speed with smooth and accuracy. So with that, um, I put, I got a new intro, so we're going to roll that now. All right, and with that, the first benchmarks that I was focusing on was speed. I really wanted to work on speed for my transitions and target to target. So the first one up was speed. Uh, Barry TS will take easy. Previous high score in this was 445. Um, I actually <laughs> broke it, broke my high score in my third try and broke it into silver before I was bronze. Broke into high score with 475. Um, I believe that, that training this week with speed was a big plus in this area. It helped me transition to target to target, and I absolutely thought it was a great um, place to start. So after that, I went into speed, pill, TS, voltaic, easy. Previous high score on this was 328. Broke my high score and went into silver with 340 on my very first try. So the first little intro into it, my first playthrough, I broke into sil I broke into silver from bronze and I was just I was loving it. So after that was um cube TS voltaic easy. Previous high score in that was four thirty. Um also first try broke it into silver with a high score of four fifty one. This scenario just felt a whole lot easier to me. It well, um, concentrating on the nearest target and um, moving as fast as I can to target to target to try to bring down my gaps in between um, getting my um, points up and just working on speed, working on speed, working on speed. Speed was the name of the game this week and I believe that it worked very, very well. So after cube TS was my static 180 um, voltaic. Uh, my previous high score was 87. Went into my, I broke, I broke my high score on my fifth try and got a silver on 94. Ran it a few more times and got my final high score on my seventh time into 96. So really working on my bronze to try to get everything up to silver and beyond. I was trying to get higher than silver, but my first goal is to get silver complete. So after 180 static voltaic was reactive Zach sphere. <sighs> this task was very challenging for me. It just, it, it kicked my butt. Um, I ran it multiple, multiple times. I did not get silver in this, so I am still bronze. One of my few to still be bronze. But I ran it multiple, multiple times to the point where I was starting to get frustrated and just had to just move on. I just had to just say, hey, I'm today's not the day for this, so I'm going to move on. Um, 
when I came back to it later that night just to see how it was, I got my high score from 2053 up to 2153. Still not silver, but close. Darn, darn close. Um, so after that, I went into um, the precise um, uh, scenarios. First one was mini voltaic easy. My previous high score was 903, and I broke into silver on my second try of 1021. Um, this one was a lot of fun to play. I didn't play it as much. As soon as I kind of broke my score, I ran it a few more times, kind of sat around the same, and just decided to move on, not to wear myself out too much. After the mini voltaic easy, I went on to smooth pill. Um, my previous high score was 1996. This was the largest gain of the week. I believe that with the whole fundamentals that it ran, it helped me in this aspect very, very well. Um, I was at 1996. I broke into gold. I went from bronze all the way to gold. Skip silver with a high score of 2736 on my third try. I ran, ran it one time, I broke silver, ran it a second time, got even higher, ran it a third time just to see how it was and broke into 2736 into gold. So it went from bronze to gold in three tries. This one was a, so much fun to play. I had a blast with it. It felt a whole lot easier with me. So after that one, we ran into the invasive. We went into the Cine TS Voltaic Easy. If I said that wrong, I'm sorry. Still very new to aim training and all these scenarios. So my previous score on this was 1420 bronze. This one I broke into gold at six or it broke into gold at 1602. And it was another large gain for the week. Um that I hit on the seventh try of my high score. And again, scenario just felt so good that I just kept on playing and trying and trying and it just I kept on hitting the same kind of scores and just wanted to push myself into even higher and higher and higher then i just finally was just like you know what that's enough time to move on after that was the angelic sphere voltaic easy um my previous score on this was 2097 um, i was able to get a score of 2122 which was good for gold hit that on the second run again with the revo sect beginner fundamentals um, there's a couple scenarios in there where you are tracking very close very far and the thin lines and i believe that this helped a lot with that it felt easier i mean so much easier that i actually broke, went from silver to gold and it wasn't a big jump like the previous two but i still got gold and i was still ecstatic with that so with that um, there was a few of those that I was not be able to get break into higher ranks. Um, one of them was static, one wall, four targets, uh, TS voltaic. I could not break my high score on this for some reason. I think it's because I was pushing a little bit too much speed. So my accuracy was going down. So this week, this following week, I'm going to be pushing on my static to get my target switching on static targets higher. Um, another one was the um, wide wall three target. Um, I was able to increase my score to 81, but it's still set in silver. I was, I was so close to gold. It was starting to get a little bit of frustrating, so I just decided just to move on. Again, this next week, focusing on static flicking to get faster flicking and accuracy with flicking. Um, another one, static 180 voltaic. Um, still 96, wasn't able to break my high score on that. So the static, it just, it's going to be working pretty, pretty much the same. Um, reactive Zach XZY Voltaic Easy is still at 1869 silver. So wasn't able to break that. Um, also dynamic, I kind of stayed away. I shied away from this. Um, I was really nervous on doing, um, the, the dynamic task, so I decided to kind of just step away from those. I was really, really trying hard um, two weeks ago to get this. 
dynamic is is my hardest one so i decided to just kind of just step back i i ran one time on the arc 180s and i was i didn't do good so i just stepped back from the dynamic probably revisit those um the week after next after i run on static dots static dots i believe is going to help me work into dynamic dots as well so with that um i think the only one i ran out of this was arc 180 so i mean next week is definitely going to is it's going to be static and then after that is going to be dynamic okay and as you can see this week felt really good i progressed a lot got a lot of my bronze up to silver couple into gold so i am definitely making progress i didn't get silver complete but i almost got silver complete with gold so i that is a big win in my book um dynamic clicking still hardest um i i hear that a lot from everybody that dynamic clicking is the hardest and kind of like their their achilles heel i want to say or just like just they struggle i very i struggle into this very very um again next week plan on running the revosec playlist um with more concentration on flicking and speed i need to get my flicks down a little bit better um flicking flicking is going to help me on the long strafes of like one wall um wide wall type of static clicking um then okay and with that um please like comment subscribe on this video let me know what you guys think um give me a like give me a dislike tell me if you guys like it tell me if you guys don't like it i mean just um i'm i'm just trying to figure out the best format for my videos so with comments it will be a very big plus to let me know which way i need to go um i also stream my aim training monday through friday roughly start around three to four o'clock mountain time as i do live in utah so if you guys want to join in on that um you can i usually i run the revo sect revo sect for about an hour and then go into apex to supplement the aim training with apex which has been helping a lot i've been feeling my apex game has been a lot better my aim tracking just just everything it's just it's just jumping up and up and up um also in the link below in the description i'm going to put um my twitter and my discord if you guys want to follow my twitter to find out it's what's going on with the live stream if i'm live streaming that day i mean the life does come up i do work 10 to 12 hours right now so if i can't live stream i post it on twitter also in my discord that anybody can join that we can talk about games life in general doesn't matter so with that i'll see you guys in the next